So Randy, we're here at the Bowl Expo on the second day and it's still busy as heck. Yes, 2019, really excited about the turnout we've had and, and the different exhibitors we've had uh, come through this year. Has this been the biggest uh, attendee base yet? Well, I don't know those numbers yet, but uh, we're up on exhibitors and also up on, on members attending this year. I know I went to all the seminars I could get to, and I, I and the galas and the uh, shows, and it looked like you had a phenomenal, phenomenal uh, day and uh, event. People yeah. turn out. Yeah, the boot camps we had boot camps on the first day; those were up about thirty percent. And uh, the other meetings last year we had smaller rooms, and then we overfilled them, so we we put bigger, larger rooms together this year, and still filled them. So. Yeah, they are up too. We don't know the numbers yet, on, but the boot camps were definitely up about 20 to 30 percent. And you, you had some really impressive uh, panels and speakers. You outdid yourself this year. Yeah, and a lot of them were our own members, obviously, the people that, that excelled in those particular issues and classes that we were running. So really, yeah, we got a lot of great people in our industry uh, of entertainment and bowling especially. Right. How, how did you become such a celebrity to interview Aaron Rodgers oh, and come man. off like you've done this I'm all still, your life? I'm still excited about that interview. He was such a nice gentleman, and uh, he wasn't putting on anything either. He was just really genuine. And uh, to, to be BPAA president, you know, I've wanted to do it all my life. I've been coming to these things for 40 years. I, I met my wife, here. Sherry, here. At the Bowl Expo, it was being <clears throat> held in Hawaii, and met her. Uh, her dad was a was, was vice president at King Louis Bowling Centers out of Kansas City. Met him at a Brunswick seminar, a management seminar, and then he said, "I'd like to introduce you to my daughter when we get to Hawaii." And sure enough, it just clicked, and five years later, we were married and started having kids. So that is awesome yeah. story. Yeah, she's great. So. But yeah, there's such a, a heritage here, and, and there's so, been so many great leaders of BPAA uh, in the last 40 years that I've been in it and longer. But uh, you know, to emulate or have those guys as mentors that have led this organization is utopia, and you know, try and probably make me what I am today. You know, striving what, to be better at all times. And what do they have in store for you as a past president? As past president, we'll continue to work on uh, social media yes. campaigns. Um, as we are now, we've got a new uh, one that's coming up. I can't really talk to you right now about it, but uh, we've got a new one coming up in the fourth quarter that's really going to uh, bluster into the 2020 year and really put bowling on the map and entertainment on the map. But that would be forthcoming for all of our members and, and media to know that soon. Well, we all thank you because uh, the drawer of bowling is still amazing as an attraction. And you know that I we work our industry around it. And I'm uh, just so happy that you're <coughs> going to take care of the next 40, 50 years for me. Yep. So I can live to be 120 yeah, and still I'd make Still make a career. That's right, Frank. And we appreciate everything that you do and the FEC departments do in our in our industry. It's such a good marriage that we have between the two industries or all the industries that go together to make this uh, entertainment business a business to strive to be in for many, many years to come. Uh, again, we're up this year on not only exhibitors, and, but also we're up in attendees this year. Next year we'll be at the Gaylord in Colorado, Colorado. Denver, Colorado, and that will be exciting. Uh, it'll be families will be invited to it. It's over the 4th of July, and we'll have fireworks, we'll have our own fireworks show, we'll have different events going on. Uh, we're talking about even having some type of uh, children's kid, kids camps so they can bring their families and make sure they're well taken care of. Excellent. Yep, and we got a lot of kids, a lot of people already signing up for that, and a lot of exhibitors. So I love it. Yeah. So anyway, looking. I can I can pretty much sum up that uh, I only go now. I used to go to different trade shows, like maybe 40, 50 a year. I'm down to four. And Bowl Expo is one of the major 
say two or three that I look forward to. Well, thank you. <coughs> and this looks a lot different than it did years ago. A lot more lighting, a lot more fantastic exhibitors as our entertainment industry has flourished or, or gotten better, so has Bowl Expo. And uh, we just, we're just we just excited that, that you're excited to be here too, Frank. We are. Yeah. I may not be able to show it now because I'm a little tired, but <laughs> I am excited. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But, um, you know, hopefully we'll have a great speaker next year and entertainment. We've got some entertainment options next year that will be even better than this year. I don't know how you beat Aaron Rodgers, but we will. We seem to beat it every year. Yeah, I, yeah, we keep raising the, best, the bar. Yeah, you keep raising the yeah. bar. Yeah. So, Shaquille well, O'Neal wasn't, wasn't, uh, was great, actually. That's right. But, you know, the thing is, is, is just like the bowling industry and the entertainment industry, we're raising the bar every year to compete in that, too. So as we do that, we, you know, we look at our entertainment and our show yeah. and continue to what raise the bar on the team. Is, is just exemplary. It's just fantastic. Yeah, well, thank you. Thank you. If there's anything we can do for the entertainment industry, BPAA is here. We hope um, we get new members. That's what it's all about. we got so many good programs from Smart Buy to uh, education that we can, you know, anybody that wants to join BPA, as long as you have bowling lanes, you can do so. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank Great. you.